hello and welcome to a new video in this video i'm going to show you how to set environment variables uh, in linux and specifically we are going to see how to set environment variables for the oracle database in a centos 7 linux machine so basically when a variable is set it, it becomes available for use in the current session and if you do export it it become it becomes available for all programs in the current session so for for example if i do uh, as you see here if i do export oracle seed equals oracle this means that i am creating an environment variable called oracle seed with the value of or or uh, orcl and I am making it available in the current session for other programs. So if I want to display the value of this environment variable, I can do echo dollar oracle set. And as you can see, the value is uh, ORCL. What I did here in this command, export oracle set equals oracle, is in fact I did two things. I created the, the environment variable oracle seed and I gave it the value uh, ORCL and then I made it available to other programs by exporting it. But we can do this uh, in two lines. We can do we can do oracle seed equals ORCL and then we do export. But of course, the first way is like a shortcut. We create it, we give it a value, and we export it at the same time. So we can do this uh, in one line. And Oracle Seed, uh, as an example, is used to specify what database to connect to if SQL Plus is started without specifying uh, a database. So it's the default database to connect to. So basically what we need to understand is that there is no need to export every variable that we create. You only export variables that you want to make available to other programs, programs or scripts that are running in the current session. If you want to see uh, the full list of the currently exported variables, you can run the command env. So if you do env you will see all the environment variables that have been set in the current session. An example of environment variables uh, is uh, shell. So this variable gives you the default shell for the current session or for the current user. So if I do echo, echo, uh, echo shell, the shell that I'm using is the bash shell. Another example is the home variable. So of course it's going to be slash home slash oracle. And there are two ways of setting environment variables in Linux. There is a temporary way at the terminal level and there is a permanent way at the user level. So the first method, the temporary one at the terminal level, you export a variable and it is available in the current session, but it's going to disappear <coughs> once you leave the session. So when, if you leave the session and log in again, you will not have this uh, variable. So that's the temporary way. And the way I showed you just now with the Oracle seed uh, vari variable, that's the temporary way. There is a permanent way which you do at the user level in the bash profile uh, file. And we are going to see this way in this tutorial. When it comes to Oracle uh, database, there are four uh, basic or fundamental environment variables that need to be uh, set for the database to function properly. 
it's oracle base oracle home oracle seed and the path variable so let's see how to set these four uh, variables in the uh, with the, uh, the temporary way and then with the uh, permanent way or the permanent method so let's start with the temporary method so with the temporary method we are going to export first the oracle base and the oracle base for me is u01 u01 up and oracle so that's the oracle base then we set the oracle home variable so it's under oracle base so i can do uh, i can use the oracle uh, oracle base variable here oracle base slash so what we add to it is product and then 1220 and then db home one so that's oracle home so let's add product then 12.2.0 then db home one so that's the uh, oracle home variable then we do oracle seed i already did it so i'm going just to reuse that command and then finally uh, let's set the path <coughs> variable so the path variable already exists and i need to uh, concatenate to it the the bin folder and the oracle home so what i'm going to do is uh, use the oracle home variable slash bin because the under oracle home here there is a bin folder that i want to be added to the path variable and then i do colon dollar path and what this colon dollar path means is that i am concatenating to the existing value of the path variable this value oracle home slash bin and then i hit enter and my variable is going to be set so these are the four basic environment variables for the oracle database and this is the temporary way with which you can set these variables now let's see how to set these uh, variables the, t uh, the permanent way so let me clear my screen here and let's open the bash profile uh, file so the bash profile file is located under home slash dot bash profile so as you can see here in the end of the file i already have uh, written these lines in the bash profile file so if you add these lines here instead of running them at command line at the terminal if you add these lines here in the bash profile uh, file these variables are going to be e exported created and exported every time you log in so they will be available uh, like by default you don't need to do this every time but if you don't add these lines here in the bash profile file you are going to have to do this every time you open uh, your session so that's the permanent way so with this we reach the end of this tutorial in which i showed you how to uh, set envir environment variables for the oracle database with two methods the temporary way and the permanent way so i'm going to exit 
this file here with escape colon x and thank you for watching